first of all, you get sent this form to fill in. But when you're ill, you just can't focus on anything. The words just don't make sense. When I got called for the assessment, I was still working one day a week. It was all I could manage at the time, but um, at least it was something. It took me weeks to fill it out. I just couldn't write what I knew I needed to write. I only managed to send it back just in time. I worked at the same company for 32 years. I've got carpal tunnel syndrome and had to have operations on my hands. I tried to go back to work too early because I was worried about losing my job. My hands didn't heal properly because of using the machinery and made it worse. In the end, I was unfairly dismissed. Can you touch your toes? I started getting threats about having my benefits cut. It's like being constantly beaten by a baseball bat. I've always suffered from depression, but losing my job was the tipping point. Sometimes I just kind of get out of bed. When I got the form, I knew I had to write everything down and I was feeling just blank. But because of my hands, I had to get my mum to help me do it. She was the only one I could ask. Everything just goes numb. But there's some things your mum just shouldn't have to hear you say. Well, how bad does it? does it get? Sometimes just don't know how much longer I can carry on like this. And do you have any suicidal thoughts? Uh, yes. steps towards actually taking your life? No, no, not recently, no. So would you say you had good days? I don't choose to be this way. With the person you're just paralysed. If it wasn't for Archie, I would never leave the house. then in the interview that Archie was going to be used against me. I worked at the same company since I left school and then I snapped my ankle at work. I was out of work for a year and then I was dismissed, well I mean unfairly dismissed. So I fought them for two and a half years and, and then, like, that's when the depression and anxiety started. Right. Did you have a cup of tea when you woke up this morning? A cup of tea? Um, well, uh, yes, I did. And yes. did you make it yourself? I well, yes, um, I, I live on my own, you see, so there's no one else to... How full would you say the kettle was? How full? Was it full to the top or half full? Um, about half full. About half full. Half and full. do you do your own shopping? It's not full to the top, but yeah, it's, a, it's about half full. Do you do your own shopping? The, the kettle is, is half full and I have to hold on the counter while I pour it, so I've got like one hand on the counter and one hand on the kettle. Yep. And do you do your own shopping? If I'm shopping for somebody else, it's not so hard, but uh, if it's for me, I, I, just, I can't make my mind up. You know, I'll think, we, well, this one's cheaper, but it's not as nice, you know, and this one's 20 pence more, but it'll be better value for money, because the, well, the quality will be better, but, but then I don't know if I should really have the nicer one, like if I, if I deserve to have the nicer one. Pen. 
Five pence, seven to one seal of the road, one seal of the road. It's just twenty pence, just twenty pence. So you do your shopping by yourself and nobody helps you. Do you do home shopping? Yes or no? Yes. I've got sleep up near, which is when you stop breathing in your sleep. So I've got this machine that helps me breathe at night. I only get a couple of hours sleep, so that's why I'm always tired during the day. <coughs> but if I need to get up in the night, I won't put the light on in case it runs down the electric meter. If the electricity goes off, then the machine stops. Well, if that happens, well, I could die. So, did you make yourself a cup of tea this morning? for me, June. I'm sorry, but I know fine well if I try and do that, I'll not get up again. I'm here for mental health. After 32 years, I felt like I'd made my contribution. It was just one time in my life when I needed a little bit of help to get back on my feet. In the end, my mum had to go through all of that for nothing. I just keep going over and over it in my head. I just think that I must have done something wrong, like I answered all the questions wrong. It was Christmas time when I stopped my money. It was the first time I couldn't buy a Christmas present for my son. I've suffered from depression my whole life. But that was the closest I've got to committing suicide. And that's when I stopped working altogether. <laughs> 